I'm going to take you through a hip external rotation passive stretch with hip external rotation pails and rails. Today we're going to do it in a seated figure four position. So first we're going to talk about the setup. So I want to get myself in a position where I can cross my ankle over my thigh and get into my figure four hip stretch. This could be a kitchen chair, a stool, coffee table, a bench, whatever you have. If the seat that you're in feels too low, or once you get into this shape, you're rounded forward quite a bit through that low back and upper back, you're gonna to wanna to prop yourself up. So if I can slide a pad or a pillow underneath my hips, it'll give me a little bit more space for my spine. So what we wanna make sure of <clears throat> is that we are in our figure four hip stretch without any spinal compensations. So what I wanna watch for most of all is that if I'm looking at it from the side, I'm not rounded into that low back. So once we get into our hip stretch position, we're gonna find a way to feel our end range or, an, or bow our stretch. So I like the sensation of feeling like if I could grab onto my, for me it'd be my right butt cheek and slide it backward toward the back wall, pull it back that way. I'm gonna also imagine I had a string attached to my chest and that string is gonna pull up and forward. So I'm essentially folding into this shape. I'm gonna get into this position and fold forward until I feel a pretty solid, decent stretch through this outside glute tissue with no compensation or rounding through either my low back or my upper back. Once I achieve my stretch and find my position, I'm gonna hang here for a minute to two minutes, big full deep breaths in, trying to relax into the stretch, meditate on where I feel that stretch. Maybe within that minute to two minutes, I find a little bit more range of motion. Maybe not. So once I hang here for my designated amount of stretch time, whatever you decide, I'm gonna go through uh, two rounds of pails and rails. The first round, we'll talk about the setup. The second round, we'll just push right through. So my pails contraction, or my progressive angular isometric loading, is gonna be all the stuff that I feel stretching, I'm gonna to try to squeeze it. So for me, I'm feeling the stretch back here, I wanna to try to get this stuff to work. I'm gonna start by pushing my ankle or my outside of my foot into my bottom thigh. Not a lot, just enough that I feel something different happening. I like to also add a hook of my <clears throat> arm or my hand to the outside of my foot and I'm gonna have a little fight with my foot. My foot's gonna try to push into my hand, my hand's trying to pull up on my foot. Again, just a little bit of effort, not a ton, until I can feel this stuff start to squeeze. Once I feel that squeeze happen, I'm gonna hang there. Maybe I increase that effort just a hair on this first round, and I hold there for five, four, three, two, I'm gonna relax all that effort on one, but I'm gonna maintain my shape. Big breath in, exhale, finding that end range of my stretch. For my rails contraction, regressive, angular, isometric loading. All this short stuff, all this stuff that's already squeezing, I'm going to squeeze it more. I'm going to try to actively pull myself deeper into external rotation. What that feels like is maybe my ankle starts to feel light on my thigh, my knee starts to feel heavy toward the floor, and this shape here, I'm trying to fold deeper into my stretch. Again, no change in lumbar spine, low back. So I take a big breath in, I brace that air through my low abs, and I try to feel light. I'm trying to feel like this is gonna happen. And I squeeze this stuff, and I try to bring my chest forward, Rest of the body tightens up, and I hang in that contraction for five, four, three, two, one, and then I relax all of that effort. Big deep breath in and out. Maybe I sink a little deeper into that stretch, and we'll do one more round. Second round of pills and rails, maybe it's the same amount of effort, maybe it's higher. I start by taking that big breath in, bracing through my low abs. I'm gonna put a little pressure down of my ankle into my thigh. I'm gonna grab my foot and I'm gonna have a little fight with my hand to my foot. My foot pushes, my hand pulls. 
If my effort level was like a volume dial, zero to 10, I'm going zero, one, two, three, four, I go five, six, maybe I stop there, maybe I increase it a little bit more, hold that effort, five, four, three, hips should be screaming, two, one, relax that effort, hold the shape, big breaths in and out, rails effort, big breath in, brace abs, ankle gets light, pull the knee toward the floor, pull the chest toward the thigh, rest of the body gets tighter, pull, 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 squeeze more, squeeze most, hold their five, four, lift this toward you, three, two, relax that effort on one, maybe you found a little bit more range of motion, we hang there for another breath, and then lift and lengthen. I'm gonna switch sides. <clears throat> Resetting into my figure four stretch with my left leg crossed over my right ankle. Again, taking that time to find where your end range is. I'm gonna feel like my left glute can peel back, my sternum is lifting upright, and I'm folding this shape forward to find my hip stretch on this side. Again, once I find this stretch on this side, maybe I'm going to hang here for a minute, two minutes, breathing into the stretch, meditating on that left hip. And then when I feel ready, I'll start that first round of pails. Pushing, all this stuff is going to squeeze. My ankle pushes into my thigh. I feel my glute light up. I grab my hand to the outside of my foot. Try to pick my foot up and my foot pushes down into my hand. I increase that effort just a little bit more. Left hip really working. Hold there five, four, three, two, one. Relax all that effort. Hold that shape. Big breath in. Rails effort. All of this stuff is going to squeeze and pull me deeper into the stretch. Big breath in. Trap air into those low abs. Rest of the body gets tighter. Ankle gets light. Knee presses down. Try to pull deeper into that stretch. Try to fold that chest forward. Rest of the body gets tighter. Maybe fisted hands. Maybe grab onto that bench. Hold there. Five. Four. Lighter and lighter. Three. Two. Relax on one, big breath in and out. Find maybe a little bit more range of motion. <clears throat> we'll go in for round two, big breath in. Brace through your abs, rest of the body tightens up, foot pushes down. Hand grabs onto the foot, fight with that foot a little bit more. Again, that volume dial starts turning up, that effort level from maybe a 10 to a 20 to a 30 to a 40. Rest of the body works a little harder. We hold there five, four, three, two. Relax all the effort on one. Hold the shape, big breath in. Exhale, rails effort. Big breath in, brace through the abs, ankle gets light. Knee tries to pull down, try to actively pull deeper into that stretch. Rest of the body tightens up. Abs get tight, fold deeper, hold. Pull that ankle toward you more. Five, four, inner thigh screaming. Three, two, one, relax. Lengthen deeper into that stretch. Big breath in and out. Lift up and out and release. So you could do that effort two sets, three sets. You could do five sets at a low effort. You could do a couple sets at a longer effort. So maybe that pails and rails effort is 10 to 30 seconds, increasing that effort. So we're going to do this work to increase our hip external rotation. <clears throat> 